Welcome to Medina County, Texas, GMRS. Ted Radio was kind enough to send us a few of their accessories. They got a high gain GMRS antenna, their TD771. Well, no, excuse me, this is a, this is going to be a dual band antenna. My apologies, not GMRS. Then they sent this speaker mic that we're going to test out on the H3. This is the little antenna I normally keep on it. So let's take a look. We'll take a closer look. Don't want to get into too many details. Now let's do the intro and come right back for a short accessory video. All right, here it is. TID Radio sent us their TDHM 060 lapel mic, speaker mic. This has the K-type connector on the end that will fit nicely into this H3 that I have. These were free. I paid for this. Bought three of them, actually. This, they sent, is the TID Radio TD771. This is a dual band. I don't think it can get close enough and clear enough, but it is 136 to 174 megahertz and then 400 to 480 megahertz. This is the C-type connection. Fits right into... Did I just say C-type? What the hell am I... This is the female. What? I haven't had enough coffee yet. Look, I'm still working on it. And no, I do not wash out the coffee cup. It makes it taste better. This is the female connector on this end. Start over again. And it will match up perfectly with the male on this end. And we're going to test them out. So here's my idea. Um, we're going to try to reach Bill at his residence about four or five miles away. This is the stock antenna that came with it. We're going to see how he can hear us. We'll have the speaker mic hooked up so you can hear the, what kind of sound we're getting. I hope you can get it from that end. And then after we test the stock antenna, we will test this high gain uh, antenna to see if it's any better and just kind of see how that goes so let's go test them out and uh, see what we can do all right we got the TID radio h3 we've got the speaker mic that they sent we've got the high gain antenna that we've sent so we're going to try to hit bill on simplex 19 from the stock antenna uh, with this hand mic let's see if uh, we can get him WRJC 281 to WRTH 378 on Simplex 19. Okay, he's not coming through. We're on high power. Don't know if you can see it. It's really sunny out here. Simplex 19. 281 to 378 on Simplex 19. Okay. We're going to try this. Let's take the radio off. I'm going to hold it up because he's a good distance away. 281 to 378. Okay, so we barely got him there. Let's try the high gain antenna. Let me let him know what we're going to do. Uh, let me switch to the high gain antenna and see what difference that makes. Stand by just a second. All right, so let's let me swap it out and I'll be right back. Okay, we got the high gain antenna on. This is once again, this is their TD. If you can see that it's so bright out here. TD seven seven one that pairs nicely with the H three. Let's give Bill a try. 281 to 378 trying you with the high gain antenna. Well, let me hold it up in the air again. Hold on. 281 to 378 with the high gain antenna. Any better?
Okay, 10-4. Uh, same for you on this end. The antennas did not make that much of a difference. I'm actually having to hold it up up in the air uh, to send out and, and receive you, but it's very scratchy. So just so you know, I'm having to hold the radio way up here. Sorry you were getting a bad angle on that. Three, seven, eight, did you copy any of that? Well, trying to get this set back up here. So I'm not seeing much of a difference. Um, let's let's go back inside the shack and talk about it but i'm i'm not seeing a big difference there let me hit him on dunley real fast just to see how clear how clear this speaker mic works i need more hands all right we're back on dunley 281 to 378 on dunley are you here We do have the volume all the way up on the H3. WRJC 281 radio check on Dunley. Let's see if we can get anybody to answer. When you were sounding fairly clear. Yeah, just trying to get audio from you on this uh, speaker mic we're testing out for TID Radio. Uh, can you just do a, a five count, just one, two, three, four, five for us, uh, just so we can see how, how it sounds on this end? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, three, two, one. Okay, 10-4. Uh, we got what we needed. Um, I'll, uh, I'm will i going to go to the shack and finish a video. WRJC 281. WRTG35. All right, well, let's go back in the shack in the AC and uh, talk about these two items that TID Radio sent. All right, that didn't go as planned. Um, let's try... Just to give us a difference, some some difference here. Let's try one. This was given to me. This is a HYS TC seven seven one G one forty one to four hundred and thirty made in China. Um, let's see what it says underneath. It says multi band one thirty six to one seventy four four hundred to four seventy. Let's go test this out to see if we get any difference. From it since these two weren't as great as I thought so let's try it out with uh, with Bill on 19 simplex making sure I got it right on here 281 to 378 on 19 simplex Okay, 10-4. Well, we're trying out a different antenna just to uh, get a variety to see what works best. Um, but you were very readable. Had a little bit of static, but considering we're handheld to handheld, you're inside your house about five miles away. That was the biggest difference and probably the best audio we had on you. So we're receiving a lot better than we're getting out, right? So this is just a little five watt unit. All right, so he's saying totally unreadable. 10 four, sir. Uh, once again, we're just testing this out. WRJC 281, I'll catch you on public service in just a minute. All right, so there it is. The high gain antenna did not help out as much as I thought it would. Uh, this this is one of those bendable bendable deals that folds over. I guess they call it a military 
style antenna, but somebody had given me one, so I figured we'd try it out. So a little bit better than the high gain antenna. So let's go back in the shack and check this out. All right, so just a quick overview of these two products that TID Radio set. Um, the antenna, it's an antenna, right? We didn't get any worse or any better results than the stock antenna. Um, the speaker mic, I don't think it was... I don't think the audio was as great as it could have been, but, you know, I want to be able to turn the volume all the way up on the radio, and it should be blasting through here, and then I can roll the volume back down to, to, to my likings. But it, it had very clear audio, right? Now let's go to the website. There's the speaker mic. It's running $6.99. Let's click it. Okay, well it just went up to $12.99. That's odd. $6.99 all day long, I would take I would take it for $6.99. That's $13. Bucks. Not horrible um, for the price. Let's go back. I saw the antenna. Here's the antenna. The 771. Now it says airband. Alright. It's showing $3.99. Let's click it. <clears throat> $3.99 there. <coughs> Excuse me. So you get the speaker mic and the and the antenna. You can get them both for under $20, probably plus shipping if you're ordering a radio and you need an extra antenna or or speaker mic. And, and listen, it feels solid, right? The clip on it, it is plastic. The, the back of it's like a stamp metal. Um, it I, I'm going to use it tonight at an event we're working uh, there in Casterville. Uh, but I don't I don't think there will be any issues the audio being low. I mean, I'm gonna have to put it up to my ear Would I want to use this at a big venue a big crowd venue? No uh, Just because it, it it wasn't loud enough for me um, As far as ever using a whip antenna Y'all probably know the story about my granddaughter almost blinding me in an eye with this. I would probably never use one of these um, as far as a high gain antenna, I'm I like these Wuxun high gain antennas. It's not really whippy. It's more solid. Probably about a foot long or so. There's my hand. Well, maybe eight inches or so. Um, those are really good antennas. That I would use on an operation, but I, I'm not into the whippy antennas. Um, a lot of the ham guys like to use them on, on their radios, but um, all in all, I, I mean, I'm not super impressed, but for the the price, uh, you know. Once again, let's go back here. Three ninety nine, and I wish you could. It says from six ninety nine. What are the different options? Why does it say from? I don't see. I don't know why it would say six ninety nine and then jump you up to twelve ninety nine. But even for for twelve ninety nine, that's that's not bad. All right. Um, thank you, Ted Radio, for sending these products over. Um, once again, I'm not I'm not dogging them. I just uh, the, I, I would buy them as as extra accessories to have on hand for radios that I might hand out to people. Um, I, I might even pick up a few extra of, of these just just to have on hand. They they feel a lot better than the ones that used to come with the UV five Rs, the Baofeng speaker mics that feel like cheap plasticky. Um, this is definitely a little a little more solid than that for $12.99. All right, y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching. I'll have some more videos out. Let me know if you have any questions. I don't know if I mentioned that does have an earpiece port, so you could go from your speaker mic straight to an earpiece. Um, forgot to mention that earlier, sorry. All right, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you back here soon.